After 9-11, I had sent a bunch of my older books through the Red Cross so that they'd go overseas to any troops. And I assumed they'd end up in some library and some uh, women in the service would pick them up. And I signed them and I put my email address on them because I thought, if I'm going to do this, then I'm going to open myself up. If they want to contact somebody to contact, I'd be glad to be that person. Well, I, got, I heard from a soldier who was stationed in Kuwait. And he was just getting ready to go into, into Iraq before the first, you know, the drive. And uh, it was kind of funny because I had this old glamour shot, you know, in, in that book because there were some older books. And so he, what he was actually doing when he contacted me, he's hitting on me. <laughs> and again, oh, honey, <laughs> I'm a grandma. I don't think you really want to go this route. He says, oh, well, can I call you mom then? And I said, sure, you can call me mom. And we ended up having this wonderful relationship. And he had such an unusual background that I've actually based some plot elements on, on some of his stuff. He was originally from Nicaragua. He grew up a Boy Scout there. He wanted to fight the Sandinistas, so he joined the Sandinista as a spy, was going back and forth the board, across the border to Honduras, and he ended up getting hot. It was too hot, and Uncle Sam got him out of there, put him through an accelerated ranger, accelerated ranger training, and he ended up a citizen, and he re-enlisted at 9-11. I mean, so there's just all kinds of stories out there like that, and, and I have a lot of different contexts.